Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies, and welcome to a quick look at something that was going on. <laughs> Why am I opening up a chat box and typing random things while I'm trying to shoot down this P-47? I've mentioned previously that I use a lot of keyboard controls while I'm flying, and that's even more uh, the case now as I get better at... Uh, Flying in tank RB, <laughs> you can't even keep it in the sky. <laughs> What's going on? My baby daughter, Zoe, was in my lap while I was playing because she, she just needed to uh, to have some daddy time, and she would yell at me if I ever put her down. So I had the baby in my lap. I was trying to grind some of the event. I'm talking with Tubo, <laughs> who I've mentioned is uh, one of the the better people to encounter in a match. And she even made me use a respawn. <laughs> she made me use one of my backup vehicles. So we are done talking about that for now. Welcome to a replay sent in by, uh, oh, right, Vitti. Uh, so Vidi has his own YouTube channel and he makes some beautiful videos and he said hey Toshio you want to see something neat so he sent me this IS-7 replay and now I am also a proud owner of the IS-7 Soviet heavy tank I ground through the event and I had a blast doing it and I remember spending a lot of time building camaraderie with the guys on the TEC hub discord and if it hadn't have been for those guys I definitely wouldn't have enjoyed the event it was so much grinding uh, but I kind of liked the fact that you didn't have to have specific goals there was no capture 15 zones there was no get so many assists it was just play the game and ka-chunk ka-chunk the pieces together so I would do things like hang out in a voice chat and just shoot the shit with the guys and talk about stupid, stupid stuff. <laughs> Which, if you're looking for dumb conversation about pointless things, uh, might I recommend both TEC Hub Discord and the Thunder Zone Discord. Link to the Thunder Zone in the description below. And you all should be familiar with TEC Hub by now. Uh, the man who runs uh, TEC Hub, or at least uh, the man behind the name, uh, the European Canadian himself, is a great guy, uh, and I like to consider him uh, one of my best YouTube friends. If not my best YouTube friend, uh, sorry to all my other YouTube friends, but he's really uh, he's really inspired me, which is interesting because I'm a little bit older than he is. So it's it's really cool to see uh, his family life coming together. Uh, between him and Kit and I'm excited for when they make some miniature Canadians uh, but uh, it, don't pester them about it their whole family's pestering <laughs> anyway speaking of pestering getting into the replay itself Vidi with a couple of quick kills something the IS-7 excels at that derp gun you see mounted to the chonky turret of this king of the heavy tanks is especially good at killing enemy vehicles with one shot side or rear aspect absolutely gimme 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 some of that and that's one of the reasons that the battle rating doesn't matter quite so much on IS-7 because anytime you can punch one through the enemy tank you're just gonna kill every dang thing inside and the armor of IS-7, even at higher battle ratings, can pull off some ridiculous things. Now this tank has seen a couple of nerfs since its introduction, and Vidi here playing under those uh, reductions to its lethality. Now there's nothing that can take away the explosive power of that APHE round though, and demonstrated for you with a quick one shot on one of those later model leopards no issues whatsoever that is three shots three dead Germans <laughs> so 
Uh, I've always loved reading the signs here in uh, American Desert. Or sorry, this isn't American Desert. How about a fourth dead German tank? M40, what is that? M48? Down. No issues, no issues whatsoever. So we see advertisements for coffee, drinks, schnandwiches, uh, a billboard outside town that says Richie's Welcome. That's, that's a little bit odd, don't you think? <laughs> Is that a capitalism joke? <laughs> this would be an Alaskan town, though. And this could be still during the gold rush. No, maybe a little bit more toward the area of the plutonium rush in case you weren't aware uh, there was just as much of a a mining boom in alaska going after uranium and radioactive ores uh, as there was during the gold rush or maybe something a bit similar well, there's some great folk music from those days and maybe all that radioactive fallout is what makes the advertisements in this town, uh, quite as strange as they are, <laughs> in any event, Vidi is just cleaning up the streets here as you see him going from one target to another, none of them paying him the attention that he deserves. Are they listening for engine sounds? Well, the uh, IS-7 is by no means a quiet vehicle, and yet you'd think he's some kind of Beetleborg ninja sneaking through town the way he has. How do you sneak in this thing? And yet, enemy players blissfully unaware until sweet death claims them in its icy grasp as the hand of Papa Stalin reaches up from the grave to claim the tank crews of these well, these poor bastards that didn't pay enough attention to where those heavy engine sounds are coming from. Are you listening? <laughs> Ranging with the machine guns, or just lighting them up for fun, who's to say, and then a quick APHE into that unidentified vehicle as we're in cinematic mode. Scratch one off for Vidi, are you keeping count? Well, I'm not, but as you do with this match, a long range shot. Are we enjoying the replay mode? <laughs> Looks like an APDS round goes straight into the ammunition storage fired from the M48 G2 a2 something along those lines does that have a stabilizer i think it does anyway firing across town to take down the russian heavy tank was no problem for that german uh we'll call it borrowed vehicle uh, from america of course uh, updated and modified with german technology now vidi respawning and he's not going to accomplish a ton more at this point he's already gotten uh, more than a handful of kills he's secured victory for his team and now it's just a matter of cleaning up the stragglers the strong side armor of is7 is useful when you're angling your armor it's especially effective against apds which he does have a chance of seeing in the form of the round that killed him. So if he can get his frontal and side armor facing toward the enemy, those will absorb a lot more damage than the turret bustle, as I'm sure you'll agree. And Vidi now continuing to push, uh, no doubt aware of what the map is telling him, getting the flank on this enemy tank. And is he going to... Nope, he is opening up on the enemy, sure to secure an assist at this point. I think he was giving his ally some time to get the kill. Good on you, Vidi. Uh, that's very kind of you. Uh, I always try to secure the kill as quickly as I can. I'm not too worried about giving progress to my allies. I figure uh, the best way to back them up is to to give them that good assist. <laughs> I like to play very aggressively when it comes to disabling and destroying enemy tanks. And when it comes to positioning, that is where I'm really learning. And that's something you can learn from Vidi here. Are you watching 
where he is on this map. He spent a lot of time going around uh, the major city areas, uh, looking sideways down cross streets, and that definitely paid off for him. In fact, the thing that took him down was an enemy who was doing the same thing. So, lessons to be learned as the bombs come in. Vidi, underneath the overpass, and yet still via shrapnel being set on fire even through his thick side armor. Uh, no worries, although this is an event gift vehicle, not a premium. It looks like Vidi has researched FPE at the very least, probably parts as well. <laughs> And having used one of his precious fire extinguishers, uh, Yuri goes back to piloting one of the most intimidating tanks in the game, opening up with maximum DACA. And this is what makes one of the things that makes IS-7 so fun to play is that you get an absolutely ridiculous amount. Uh, sorry, repositioning myself here. <laughs> I sit on the floor, so uh, my legs have been completely dead the entire time doing this replay but there's been so much action uh, that I've just been completely enthralled. I've got to admit it's nice to see IS-7 in its natural environment again and that is in fictional warfare <laughs> because of course IS-7 uh, never took part uh, to the extent of my knowledge in actual fighting but what a vehicle to field uh, what a monstrosity I love how it's basically like early World War II. Let's put a machine gun on everything. Uh, later on, you know what? Maybe a coax is fine. America, 50 cals for everyone. <laughs> Nobody. USSR, 17 machine guns. <laughs> just... It's just ridiculous. And then building the IS-7 during the event, uh, one of my favorite things was the the parts. So there were... There were, what, like four or five rifle caliber machine guns on the turret. There were a couple of 23 millimeter cannons, I think. Or were they 17.5? Something like that. Anyway, heavy, heavy DACA. And just, I think, a 12.7 as well, or, or something along those lines. It was just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And. There were also four, as you can see, firing from the hole. They are modeled in the game, and they do fire. Four hole-mounted, fixed-position machine guns, because frickin' why not? <laughs> so, lighting up the enemy, uh, another, uh, looks like an M48G2A2. Uh, that was when the vehicle just came out, and so it was especially popular when Vidi was playing this match and yes uh, this is an older match here it looks like his cannon barrel has been taken down so he's pushing the enemy tank out of position opening it up to the plethora of allied fire look away kids look away <laughs> we don't have the uh, TV ratings to show that on on the screen <laughs> and I'm not sure what Vidi was doing at the end of the match here uh, he was doing something weird uh, but just, he just had an absolutely incredible game in an absolutely incredible tank. And I'm so happy to get a chance to share that with you all. Anyway, that just about does it for this one. Thanks for watching. Feel free to send in those replays. You know where to find me. Discord's the place. We've got a channel just for replay submissions now. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.